I bet you're loving your new Volkswagen Tiguan. Congratulations. I'm here to help you make it truly yours, from what you see while you're driving to what it feels like to drive. My friend Dave is going to help me demonstrate. Let's start on the outside, specifically with one of my favorite features, opening and closing the rear hatch when your hands are full. With the fob on you, you just have to make a quick kick, call it an extension of your leg. Just make sure your foot reaches a little under the bumper. You'll know your Volkswagen has seen you because the rear light will flash. Then you have a beat, a second or two, to step back out of the way before the hatch opens. And if you're taking things out of the back, you do the exact same thing. Again, you have a good beat to ensure you and your packages are out of the way. It's that easy. The Cassie keyless operating system lets you choose how many doors you want to unlock. Just the driver's door or all of them. You can set that from your settings on the infotainment center inside. So let's go inside. By now you've seen how the door sill lights up. But did you know there are 30 different colors to choose from for your interior ambient lighting? You can create almost any mood, and it's so easy to change them up. The infotainment screen is where you can set all your preferences, for music, for navigation, and more. You'll note that there's a settings button in the lower right corner of the screen. It lets you quickly customize any of the functions you're in. These include your driver assistance and IQ drive features, like enabling active blind spot monitor, lane assist, front assist, rear traffic alert, adaptive cruise control, and travel assist. From the infotainment center, it's easy to set up your Volkswagen digital cockpit. You'll see a depiction of your instrument cluster and options for what information you'd like displayed within the traditional speed and RPM dials. You can also choose what information will be displayed in the center of the digital cockpit or choose a completely different display mode. You can even have your navigation displayed right in the digital cockpit. In short, whatever is important to you, that's what you'll see. And that includes road signs your Tiguan can capture information from road signs and display that information on your digital cockpit. Below the infotainment center is where you can wirelessly charge your compatible mobile device. Just place it face up here. For Apple CarPlay or Android Auto compatible mobile devices, you can connect wirelessly with AppConnect. There are also two USB-C ports for both charging and data, and two other charging-only USB-C ports, one in the console and the other facing the rear seats. A great thing about those rear seats, you can configure them just about any way you want, making your cargo area that much more efficient. The total length is split in three percentages, 40, 20, 40. Each folds completely independently, and they also slide and recline in 60, 40 configurations. That same flexibility is yours in how your Tiguan interacts with the road. Depending on where you're driving or just your mood, you can change your drive mode. Press the button on this knob on your console to toggle through Eco, Normal, Sport, or Custom Drive Modes. You'll see each on your infotainment screen, where you can also choose and save the settings for your custom driving mode. The same knob, when turned, lets you adjust your four-motion all-wheel drive to the terrain you're on. There are four choices. Snow, On-Road, the default setting, Off-Road, and Off-Road Custom, where once again, you choose settings that let your Tiguan optimize traction and stability. Remember, a button push changes your drive mode, while turning the knob controls your four motion mode. You may have noticed that the engine automatically turns off when you stop and restarts when you release the brake pedal, saving you fuel. That's a big reason people love it. But if you don't want this feature working, you can disable it here. But each time you turn off your Volkswagen, the start-stop feature is reactivated upon starting again. That's just some of what you can do to make your Volkswagen even more enjoyable to drive. And you'll be glad to know it's all backed by our carefree coverage, which comes with every new Volkswagen. Coverage includes carefree maintenance, roadside assistance, a new vehicle limited warranty, and CarNet remote access features such as remote lock and unlock. See the complete suite of benefits at vw.com slash coverage. You'll also want to download the MyVW app to put everything, such as service reminders, scheduling, and history at your fingertips. When you activate VW CarNet in MyVW, you can also do things like lock or unlock your doors or find your car in a parking lot. If you haven't yet signed up for MyVW, we can do it now. Download MyVW from your app store. Log in if you already have a VW ID, or choose sign up and enter your email and a password of your choosing. 
Once you accept the Volkswagen ID terms, you'll get an email with a link to the login screen. There, you'll be guided through setting up your account and preferences. Your new Volkswagen should show up automatically. If not, enter the VIN found on the driver's side of the dashboard. You can see it through your windshield. The app will then ask you to either scan a QR code or enter a registration number. You can find these in your infotainment screen. Just go to Menu, Settings, VW Car Net Online Services, Registration. Accept the terms of service and all the essential tools and information will be ready to use.